All right, so on my second diagnostic, guys, stay with me. That's always a fun adventure at Meineke Cinnamonson. Uh, let's, let's see what Jiffy Lube's up to. I'm on a road test with a newer Colorado. I don't know how they're gonna survive. That's a brand new building. Uh, anyway, I'm in a, brand, a newer Colorado with 57,000 miles on it. I am on a road test, transmission complaints, shutter. This vehicle has documentation with less than 100 miles on it back at the dealership for transmission shutters. And the dealership technician states on his, his receipt that the manufacturer put the wrong transmission fluid in this vehicle. I thought that was strange, um, but what, what do I know? I don't, I, I don't have the inside line on uh, service bulletins before they, you know, they take time to get out to where I'm at in, in you know, in Meineke La La Land. So he shows me the receipts for the first one. Technician verifies complaint, says that it's fluid issues already. They change it to a superseded part number for fluid. I don't know if that's bullshit or not. The car's okay for about a year. Brings it back again. Same complaint. Technician says uh, it's due to transmission fluid. Again, there's another superseded number. This is what the paperwork says. Um, so this car's had one, two, three transmission services. Uh, all less than 20,000 miles. So now he has 50, almost 58,000 miles on it. And he's complaining about the transmission here. And uh, so far, I don't have any issues with this transmission from cold start to operating temperature. Um, and this guy takes care of his vehicles. It is not a piece of shit. It is clean. Um, and he brought it in for GDIs, tune-up, Tires, brakes, I mean, the car's maintenance to maintenance to the nines. 60,000 miles is the next oil change. So he does not, he's not the guy who doesn't take care of his car. So, and they're the customers I love. The customer that, that you know, finds value in themselves and the purchases they make and they maintain them, right? Which is important. Uh, and it's important to me, right? Keeps me employed. And then, uh, so I, I had some questions to myself. I didn't look in any TSBs or anything past that. Is one, what the fuck? Three trans services in less than 20,000 miles. Guy doesn't tow or anything with this thing. It's just a pleasure vehicle. On the third service, on the third service, right? OEM did it. They filled the trans. Dealership did it. Dealership did it. Are they adding a friction modifier to this transmission to mask an issue inside. I really don't know. I can't duplicate his concerns right now. And these transmissions with multiple uh, speeds, you know, the old days is one, two, three, and overdrive, right? And they can barely get it right back then. Now you got six and 10 speed transmissions. There is a lot of thinking and a lot of moving and a lot of solenoids, and a lot of everything going on in your transmission today. Um, and sometimes it could just be anything, but they seem to mask this problem. And then this customer's saying it shudders like it slips. Now, I'm not going to put a scan tool on it and look for that. I'm not going to get that deep with this car. Um, but any other GM techs out here with, uh, I think it's a 17 or 19 Colorado. Now, he said to me, that it's a low speed shutter and I said alright well what speed are you going and what RPM are you at when you experience this because some transmissions have issues trying to figure out in their programming where the RPM is so low and the mile per hour is so low that the transmission doesn't know if it should stay in overdrive or go go down a gear and it could cause the torque converter to shutter in between the shift. So I've seen that on Fords and that's a programming issue. Um, and your vehicle, believe it or not, 
learns your driving habits as much as most people don't want to hear that your vehicle learns your driving habits um i think they call it a fuzzy logic so we can reset reset the adaptives on this and see if it will restore all the original shift points um because it's a computer and just like your home computer your laptop or your cell phone you have to reboot that to get to help itself run properly so if this vehicle here so i'm going to say it's every 30k at minimum for a transmission he's due for another trans service um and then we'll reset the adaptives and if that doesn't resolve it um he definitely has an issue that i probably can't fix or maybe no transmission shop could fix you know some things are just a bad design or a bad program now a tuner might be able to fix that where a customer doesn't drive very fast so i'll tell you right now i'm going 50 and the rpm is 1300 50 and 1300 in my opinion that's too that's lugging the transmission and that's just the way this car is designed and i would bet you this is probably what he's experiencing 50 and now like 1200 rpm so eventually this car is going to say all right the, flu the transmission fluid's getting hot or something's going on and it's going to it's going to want to do something uh and that's just like driving a manual transmission in fifth gear at a thousand rpm or 11 it's going to lug it's going to do this because it just wasn't designed for that um and, and people think that programming and engineering is perfect it's far from perfect um, there's a lot of garbage built, engineered, and designed shit out here. And some, and I believe this. These manufacturers and engineers know it, and they may not know it. They just say ship the product, and and how, what, whoever, and like a used car dealer, just ship the car out, and whatever a customer complains about, we'll figure out if we're going to help them or not, or we're going to fix it. And that's how I feel how new cars and manufacturers and engineers like sell it, run the line. I don't care if the engine doesn't last 36,000 miles. That's on the customer. That's all the warranty is. Right? And that's why you have so many engines with oil consumption today because they don't give a shit about you. They don't care. They want you to buy another car. They want you to spend your money in the service department. They don't care about you. And if they did care about you, we wouldn't have cars that would be burning oil at 10, 20, 30,000 miles. That's a plague. But not to get off the subject here, this Colorado. So... One, two, three. We're on fourth transmission service at 58,000 miles. I will tell you, it's probably more induced by the customer's driving habits and a program for shift points and things like that. This is definitely at, we're almost, right, we're in overdrive. We're in the last gear at 49 miles an hour and 1300 RPM. To me, that's lugging. So, and that's, that's too low. The RPM should probably be up a little bit more. And then the ECU probably, or the TCU would say, hey, all right, I, I, I feel more comfortable at this RPM range that everything is satisfied and I don't need to f try and go down a gear or try and, not right, trying to go down a gear. If it's an overdrive, it's going to try and go down a gear because it, the RPMs are too low. All right, guys, let me get back to the shop. We just had 5 drive by me. He's right up here. Let me see if I can run up on him. Can make a citizen's arrest. Sam, 